It's 2024 and the incredibly popular TikTok viral Fujifilm X100V, or X105 if you want to call it, is still impossible to get for retail. What's this? Hello everyone, my name is Shazzy and today we have something very exciting to unbox. Yes, the one and only Fujifilm X100V. The X100V is a very compact yet powerful camera known for its versatility and image quality. And yes, I know that the Fujifilm X100VI, aka the Fujifilm X106, was also announced in February. But don't worry, we have a pre-order waiting for that as well. Now somehow, I managed to get this beauty from our friends over at B&H Photo at a random drop in the middle of the week. And one day later, it was at my doorstep. Now are you guys ready for the most exciting unboxing ever? Let's do it. Just kidding. Here it is. I would have never do that. Why would you think I would do that? Here it is, the Fujifilm X100V. The compact form factor makes it ideal for everyday use, yet don't let its size fool you. It's packed with very powerful features. Now let's talk about some of the standout features of the Fujifilm X100V. First of all, it boasts a remarkable 26.1 megapixel X-Trans CMOS sensor, which delivers stunning images with rich quality, colors, and sharp details. This camera is powered with the high-performance Fujinon 23mm f2 lens, which is perfect for capturing everything from landscapes to portraits with exceptional clarity. One of the things that sets the X100V apart from other cameras is the intuitive manual controls, which include dedicated dials for shutter speed, aperture, and exposure compensation, which allows for precise adjustments on the fly. Now we know that the Fujifilm X106 is currently being shipped across the world, but I'm still stuck on a back order. Who knows when I will get mine. Until then, we're going to mess around with this camera and see what we can get. I'm really hoping to do a side-by-side -side with the Fujifilm X100V and the Fujifilm X106. Who knows, Fujifilm, if you see this, if you want to send me a Fujifilm X106, I wouldn't mind. Until then, I really appreciate all of you that have stuck long and watched the video thus far. If you can, please do me a favor, smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me. Stay tuned for the next video where we're going to dive deeper into the image quality and performance of this camera. Can't wait to show you guys the photos I take with it.